of like timing that would take the person back. Yeah, just very quickly up and running as we can get ourselves here into game one of this best of two as EG take on Team Spirit. Now, as the panel was saying as well, you know, one team zero four, one four at zero. EG need to get a couple of wins they under their the belt. Dub. They, they definitely need, the dub. need this dub, and uh, they do have a good draft this time around. I, I like uh, how they swap things around a little bit. Uh, also. Some of the things to mention is Tusk against Dazzle, uh, against the Graves unit. That's always going to work uh, really nice because you have three abilities to keep them in place, whether we're talking about the shards, the snowball, or the punch. So it's not going to be as efficient. Even Malefice, uh, kill the bear, get that 300. The double 300, XP and gold. Oh, can they finish it off? Arteezy. Oh, good body, body block. block for the monkey king. He's like, how's he blocking me? There's what? nothing there. It's monkey king who still smoke. <laughs> uh, wonderful stuff coming out of the monkey king it's there. A, it's a lot of XP. There's a lot of shared XP in Toronto. Extra 300 gold for him. Yeah, 60 experience each. Spread out across all five of them. As they're going all there for the bear. And Team Spirit taking control of the bottom bounce. Getting a high quick observer one out. It's difficult. Void Spirit has almost enough to buy a bottle seven seconds into the game. Almost at seven <laughs> minutes, but uh, he, he he needs one CS. Oops. Have fun, Oops. says Arbed. Oh, yeah. I think they're already, already well on the way and having fun with this one. Beautiful start out of Team Spirit. What's that going to mean for that laning stage? Arbed's going to be incredibly far behind. He's 300 away from his bottle. He's going to have to TP into mid lane. Do you try and bring someone like just fly stick around to like help the puck the first wave, or do you just leave it to naturally one v one? Puck against Void Spirit? Yeah. Yeah, you you definitely do. I also want to see the rotation. Something that uh, PSG LGD did really well, especially Shinju going for that uh, four minute water rune, not allowing enemy mid laner to get it, and also going into enemy jump goal, picking up the bounty rune, the three minute bounty rune. So you're kind of leaving mid laner not having any region and giving that advantage to your mid laner. He's already off to a good start, and this is Void Spirit uh, favorite matchup. We're talking about 60 40 against Puck. Yeah, to Tokyo is going to reconnect to the game. Oops. Very well indeed. Oops. Yeah. And Tokyo back in. We do have a number of blight stones out. And Lone Druid has one. He's gone for the branch build. We've got one over Oops. on that Yatoro Monkey nice. King as well. So maybe we see Orb of Corrosion coming out for him. It does appear that Arteezy will be going for the bear build. Now, but back in the day, he was one of the, the main proponents of that range. will go for your build, Gary. No bear. Build? Spirit Link and what was the other ability called? Rabbit. Back, Rabbit, back in yeah. the days. Mifushka did block a small camp for Pucks, so this is also another tool to deal with it, because uh, mid Pucks do stack the camp and also farm it uh, relatively quickly. So that's going to be some extra XP for Toronto Tokyo that he already has from killing that bear, because he can farm his own small camp. Yeah, I remember making a making a YouTube video looking over Arteezy's lone druid. It was back when he played the ranged druid, like Dragonlance, Maelstrom, and all the talents he had for it. But nowadays, it is all about the bear again, with that Deso and the Mask of Madness. Yatara and Miposhka, not able to contend with the Eidolons just yet. Nightfall will keep dragging that wave back away from them, and Crit can obviously place himself quite aggressively to see where Miposhka's Dazzle is lurking. It's not going to be an easy lane for Monkey King. A lot of that XP will be gone. Nightfall will be denying uh, his item build. Magic Wand, three branches going into Ring of Bassi, so heavily focusing on early stages of the game. Tusk uh, going for more of a fighting build where they want to get killed. Like, well, you've got to be very careful on Dazzle once they hit level two. With the Ice Shards and Tag Team, there's going to be a lot of frogs from Eidolons. Yeah, get that slow going incredibly consistently. Well, that, that Enigma, what kind of item build are we going later on into the game, though? Is it, is it the Spirit Vessel build? Is it the Arcanes, the, the Blink BKB? What do you reckon we see from Nightfall here from EG? I think this one might be just Blink, Blink BKB and then get a Lincoln's Refresher because there's only one way to stop the, the, the Black Hole and it's Doom. Yeah. yeah that 
single counter that Team Spirit has in the hands of Collapse. So far, decent for the Monkey King, 10 and 2. Even though that lane is being denied out and dragged back. Well, down at bottom, Collapse is 8 and 0. Lone Druid CS 9 and 4. It seems like yeah, Team Spirit keeping that wave relatively close to their tier 1 tower so Mira Zeus can keep zapping away at Fly's position 5 Dawnbreaker. If they do get in on top of the Zeus though, with all the Venom and Tangling Claws, you know, Mira could be in an awful lot of trouble. One more chase potential, just like this, but... Oh, Jumps out. Cool jump. ability. On cooldown for 20 seconds. Fly still thinking about going in, but Mira ready with the Bolt. Stops the Star Breaker from landing. That final hit with the stun. And the resummon. Correct, needs to TP out. The Poshka with that poison touch, because he got the first blood, does have boots, for, boots of speed, so would be able to chase him down. Chase for days. He does TP back to his tier one, so crit is readily available, and it looks like he's gonna wander in towards mid, and the call that you made for the guarding of the runes will come to fruition here for EG. Bounty already taken by Miposhka though, so crit unable to find it. Has to shard block the Dazzle away, gets a couple more hits in on the way out. Leaving some solo XP, the Nightfall, Enigma definitely needs it. Poshka also giving solo XP to Yatoro, because that uh, XP is getting denied. And we can see the odds on screen. Team Spirit definitely favored in this one, considering the start, not a surprise. Yeah, absolutely not. The bear kill, the, the OBS D ward, the bounty runes, and that first blood on our bed, while Fly does die down bottom to Mira and Collapse. Set. Expected things to go the other way with a lone druid and his Dawnbreaker who can play aggressively. But Team Spirit responding very nicely. Okay, you know, again, the XP and gold. Oh, lead. Hurricane on Mira! They get from the start. And the root for the entangling does claws. have fairy fire. Not nice. gonna even use it. Perfectly fine. He walk himself back to base or jump himself back there with the heavenly jump. And return full resources in his manner and HP all topped up. Those neutral creeps, they go for the best play you can think of. Yeah, they want to show their skills, don't they? A little savage roar from Arteezy's and Druid. Hobbit doing a very good job on a mid lane in terms of CS, considering that Toronto did have extra 300 gold. 36 against 23. There's a wave ahead. Good sidestep from Collapse, though. And this Infernal Blade doing a tremendous amount of damage to the bear. And the kills chain, it another off. 300. Finishes the bear off. He'll lose his life, sure, He's but that was well worth it, right? Yeah, definitely. He got the solo XP from that, which is going to bring him closer to level 5. Mira was absent. He was not in the lane. And now when he comes back to lane, they're still going to have... Uh, the skill potential, especially when Doom hits level 6. It's being pinged out, Fly wants to drag the creep wave, pull it back, Doom keeping in. Yeah, Mira trying to contest it, well up at top, Nightfall. He has to mouth his back, Yatoro, crit very low, tag teaming away, but he's gonna die into the bound the strike of the Monkey King. Oh no, Gary, what, what is that on Monkey King? Oh, is that Hand of Midas? It is Hand of Midas. I've did not did we looked. stop counting at the 0-5? Just keeps getting worse and worse. We'll see though, we'll see. You know, Midas might maybe making a comeback this tournament. We've had it on Dooms, we've had it on Nature's Prophet, we've had it on Juggernauts, and now the Monkey King. We saw one on set trying to get it on Io two times actually. Three heroes made. Coming straight in towards the Void Spirit. Toronto Tokyo assimilates back away, jumps with the actual step, the shards will land, but his rain drops. Keep him healthy and crit dying to the poison touch of the dazzle, so the rotation in from Eposhka more than pays for itself. He can deny the TD rune. He can TP out. Oh, you're right. He might just be able to slip away from danger. Start breaking in from Fly, the last moment needed. That was close. But uh, yeah, clutch play, saving Toronto Tokyo. He's uh, super tanky, gets that uh, resident pulse on three heroes, uh, gets the magic wand, and also the infused raindrop that you mentioned. Incredibly close stuff, though. Now Nightfall taking a beating from Yatoro. He's got the boundless strike, the ability to clear out Eidolons, especially when he's got Jingu stacks up. Very oh, useful for the monkey. XP decrepancy on top lane. Enigma about to hit level five. Monkey six and a half. That's, that's not what we expect, is it? With Enigma denying all these creeps. 
I mean, Polishka did a very good job zoning out Tusk. Didn't yeah. allow them to play aggressively at all, forcing Tusk to TP out uh, Tusk. Didn't have boots of speed. He played more for Blade. Uh, had that magic stick. Very fire. We go. Toronto, Tokyo. He wants RTZ. Mirror does die to fly, but that's a whatever moment. They've killed the lone druid. Taking him out of the game while Yatro is being chased down by Crit and Nightfall. Ardlon's tag team slowing him over and over again. Battle strike comes as Yatsura tries to fight back. He does have to fight by Nightfall here with a couple more swipes of his massive stick. And they don't even get the kill on him. It's like we need an extra hero here. What a great read from Yatsura to turn around and uh, just man up, keep fighting, get that Jingu proc, and then uh, gets, uh, gets a good boundless. Yeah, EG falling further and further behind. 2k lead developing for Team Spirit. I still yet to see Abed really make his mark on this game yet. Hasn't got a coil out, hasn't found any real openings. He missed out on Toronto Tokyo, who turns it straight back onto Abed, kills his courier, and mirrors help here. We'll find them a kill on the puck. Oh, Team Spirit is playing so much faster and snappier, decisive Dota from them. They're so quickly to move, and look at the levels right now. You have Void Spirit, who's about to hit the level 8. Uh, you have Collapse on bottom, level 7, almost Hand of Midas. Like, they're winning the laning stage, and they're going for two Hand of Midas. Well, yeah, 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven across all three dire cores. They hit the jackpot there on the slots. Yatero comes back up top, probably eyeing up another kill on Nightfall. But Abed and Crit under the Dire Observer Ward scouted out, and Dire Team Spirit knows what's coming. They're showing mid Void Spirit, who does not have a TP rotation, but uh, good read from Team Spirit, not allowing EG to get the, anything done. Some damage will be done to Tower, but other than that, they did dodge a gank. Yeah, and they can move now to play aggressively in the mid lane, bottom lane as well. Pressuring into these tier ones. Fly left to his own devices to try and clear out the creep wave. And there's the Hand of Midas on the Doom. Is under attack. Nine minutes in. One thing about Collapse is he's been super stable ever since he joined the scene. He always manages to get stuff done. Like, you can rely on him that he's gonna have a farm that, uh, with that farm, he's gonna do something. Yeah, it's kind of similar in my mind to Nisha, like almost robotic, yes. right? Very few mistakes, always very stable. Sometimes with the flashy plays, you know, they can pull it out of the bag, but always consistently good. Yatero, wanting that bottom tower, all of corrosion helping him out. The rest of the team, a nice barrier through that bottom jungle to guard him and the mid lane, which Toronto Tokyo will claim. Top tower did fall, Enigma. Managed to take the objective there, so the top jungle does open up for EG. Team Spirit is messing with EG's uh, momentum. This low druid is supposed to have a lot of farm. He's sitting in the middle of the pack, still trying to farm up his Mask of Madness. So items are going to be delayed. And as you mentioned, Yatoro on the bottom lane with that Orb of Corrosion. Ready to kill the tower. Shadow Priest. These careful waves are arriving. They can now think about mounting their defense in the mid lane. EG are bringing, what, five heroes here? Four leases. Martins is not too far away. It's Arbed attempting the waning rift jump. A very tight window to catch Toronto Tokyo. And doesn't quite make it work. Now they focusing on that catapult. Their tower defense is really not that great for Team Spirit. They don't have chain lightning on Zeus, but they will use that poison touch, uh, try to delay as much as possible with the glyph while Yatoro still yet to use his first hand of Midas. They need to let this one go. Yeah, they're, they're not defending this to no, stop just the tower dying, dying. they're just delaying it and making EG a little more uncomfortable or required to expend more resources as we have our second hand of Midas for Spirit now delivered. Monkey King. It's the first use out of his. So we've got queued up next, Echo into BKB. So he'll start scaling very quickly with the Midas, getting those levels going. And buying a Midas on a Monkey King in this game is like a, a middle finger to the Enigma, right? Like, you've denied <laughs> my creeps, I'm gonna buy a hand of Midas! Where's all that experience gone? 
Snowball chasing Monkey King. He's up in the treetops. And now he's in a bad spot. Crit is all alone. Mirror collapse coming in from the side. You wanted to fight no war, Tusk? Nice and simple. I give you team spirit. Oops. Those hand of Midas's are gonna kick in soon. Extra devour gold, but EG keeping things at the 3k gold lead deficit for now. Yeah, it's just uh, the lone druid really is the one that feels like he needs to catch up the most. Mask of Madness. I think he's being delivered now, so the Desolator is queued up and on its way for our tour. Yatsuro. Oh, he's been found here with a coil and a Starbreaker. Stuck I'm around with no one nearby. I'm better than your Having a coil Invisibility. and also a Dawnbreaker Radiant does allow you to land another attack. stun with Solar Guardian. So that's a big pickup for on the Tokyo. And a flight flight. Uh, they got enough damage to finish him off because the Celestial Hammer creates a bit of a gap, needs the extra Astral Step. That was a dominating Dawnbreaker. She was 4x kill streak there. Oh, that's Infernal Blade. So good against the bear. Every time he gets tagged, you lose like only like one Infernal Blade. Yeah. Some percent of his XP disappears. We're going with a Savage Roar. Mira, he towed the line there so he can keep the spells going and claims the 300 gold XP again. I believe that's his third one. So extra 900 gold. In Team Spirit pockets. Not an easy game for Arteezy. Toronto Tokyo down to bottom while EG smoke themselves across. Grit, Arbed, connecting with Nightfall. Still waiting to see this first black hole of the game. Don't Team Spirit is in no rush whatsoever. They know that they scale extremely well with those two Hand of Midas's. You have Zeus position four. So, late game is already secured. Right back down on Enigma. So, some extra damage reduction. Looking for an opening. A bit difficult. They need Puck to initiate with the coil and still respecting the tower. Mira feeling relatively safe farming underneath this tier 2. Meposhka me, me, me is just so good with his warding, though. The two wards top have secured them safety several times, yeah. and now he gets a D ward on top of it. Also, this ward between tier 1 and tier 2 tower on a mid lane is showing when they're gonna smoke. Now look at Meposhka. Just yeah, chilling on his dazzle. He's like toying with him. Come on, dive me onto tier 2. Dare ya. Flying up Radiant's in a full threat, though. Under yeah, another move where EG really desperate to get something on the map. Well, Snowball onto Mira. Catch the Zeus out with a quick little shard, and he leaps over the igloo. Easy as can be. Now, drop to Tokyo. Haste it. Potential to wrap around into the back line. Dude gets down a little bit there by the Alan Face Ship, and they black all the left. Right off the back. Mira can still zap back in with the lightning bolt and the Poshka. Well, just save his body for a second while the Mukong is about to strike. He's taken out inside the circle. Now the battles from the outro comes out. Catching out Nightfall and Toronto Tokyo. Still playing in the back point. Enigma. What can he do? He can Malefic. He can try and run away. But they've got a Yule set drop into the sky. Fly and crit. They want this voice print. So careful against collapse in the, the hurricane back into the late fields of Mira and Miposhka. Another bear dead. EG heavily committing to kill Doom with Black Hole and Coil, and then they have issues controlling Void Spirit. Uh, a bit of a different item build from Void Spirit this time around, because uh, in the previous game we saw Rush onto Aghanim Scepter, but this Yule Scepter is really good to set things up, potentially cancel the Black Hole, uh, remove the sounds by some time during the Coil, and now he's going into Aghanim Scepter. Yeah, EG did come out on top in terms of the, the gold and experience coming their way. Not a, not a perfect team fight, but something is something for them at this point. Uh, team Spirit are the ones who are able now to get the jump and maybe use some aggressive vision to their advantage. Their wards get spotted by the Abed Courier. As you know, something is up, but there is a cane room on Void Spirit, so he definitely wants to go in. Moshka already has shard. Yeah, the Thunder God's wrath as well to try and scout them out. Drop the token. Straight towards the Enigma. Catch him out and kill him off. There's no follow up. This Three coil match. looks good, but uh, no one is around. Into what? Into nothing. 
And the deep ward still providing a ton of vision, giving them uh, that uh, vision that they need to start a fight. Atura, with this uh, build, head of Midas Echo Saber, he wants to join relatively early on. And continue these fights, keep on going, brawl your way. Tier 1 opens up for them in the mid lane. Top is being pushed out. They've got Fly and Arteezy in the vicinity, but looks like Arteezy just wants to continue blasting his creeps to finish off the Deso. Do lose Fly's courier as well. Nothing too important on it though. Radiance right. middle tower. Planted the ward attack. and is sitting inside the Roche pit. Next black hole will be ready in 30 seconds. Deso will be done at the same time pretty much so i want to see eg try to go for a smoke play and transition that into roche they could also potentially snatch the roche with the tag team and lone druid they definitely have more than enough damage yeah plenty of great ways to be in the pit and the philosopher's stone Fail below druid. he's gonna keep that it's it's one of those items that like zeus if played from mid lane tinker they definitely love to keep it yeah, certain core heroes can definitely handle it Team Spirit sat behind their ward. And they do still have that high ground ward over in that bottom jungle. Didn't get removed out even though it was scouted by a courier and a sentry. EG not wanting to play down there instead. There's Radiant, of course, heading up to top, wanting to control Roshan. And here's the movie called for Smoke into the pit. They, they feel comfortable. Extra damage from right back, extra damage reduced, and also having a black hole security. So Team Spirit, they are not going to defend it. This is a team that is making an aggressive move, even though they're down 7k gold. So this is something you need to have a good read, how to come back into the game. Also potentially stealing Roche from Team Spirit there. Roche taking potential is not that great. They have some minus armor coming up from Dazzle, but that's about it. And it feels like they're still waiting for BKB to come up on the Monkey King, which is going to take a little while still. So we could see Team Spirit here just wait out the Aegis, but they're actually... Trying to set a trap in the mid lane. Baiting with Toronto Tokyo. EG not fighting. Wanting to continue playing under their own vision there, EG, with two wards up around Roshan and near that top jungle. Tier 2 should be a pretty easy take for them at this point. Lone Druid hitting one of his massive spikes here with a Deso Mon, ready just to rip apart buildings. Radiant are scared. Well, here comes Team Spirit. Radiance middle Four men smoked. Monkey King could TP up, up there to try attack. and start things off. The scan already used. Radiant spots tower nothing. Is under, attack. under Radiant Dyer's Vision, but the smoke still gives them this guise of invisibility. High ground ward for them as well. They spot the fly. They see crit jump the test. DG will fall back. They understand that the, they got what they came for. They got that the tier two tower and uh, potentially get the outpost. Might be a bit uh, tricky standing there. And Team Spirit want to reclaim that. But EG just holding their Radiant ground at this point. Is under attack. Arcane Room spawns up at top. From to Tokyo. Going in and well, gets in. Trying to get the bear. The fear of the corner. The snap and the kill. The grave comes in. The boss can see from the Tokyo. It's in the as well. He's got the one chance to you all. That was such a greedy play from Toronto. Even though they have heal coming up from Dazzle and the Shallow Grave, but it's still not enough in here. So long, Black Hole, what do we expect it to? Arbet should be alright there with the red pack near it. They don't have too many heals to pump into the puck, but yeah, perfectly fine. To even farm away at neutral. That's a young team. BKB tries to work off the punch down. Arbet cleared up by the Thunder God's Wrath. Finishes him off with a left. Great. Destroyed by the monkey and the boundless gives him a double. Now, what a turnaround from Team Spirit. They did uh, once again heavily commit from EG to get that Doom killed, even though he got the Doom off. But uh, yeah, Zeus, yeah. <laughs> Zeus, uh, 4,000 damage. And we talked about scaling how well Team Spirit scales into the late game. This is Zeus with Philosopher's Stone, position 4. So that means that his damage output and his item are kind of secured. You know that uh, eventually he's going to have that Aghanim Scepter. Going for the Yule Scepter for now to be able to defend himself and also potentially Yule's the bear into the air. That's a second Yule, so got to be really careful how much damage bear can do if he gets Yule twice.
And against some of these really tanky heroes, you've got Dawnbreaker, you know, Enigma, Lone Druid in, in his ulti form, but the Spirit Bear in particular, having a static field to be percent of face down, massive as Nightfall. Let's get cleared out, they've got the coil in onto two of them, and the Posh kept dying next to his Monkey King, but the Rockhawks will come out. RTG Savage here now, push him away, and he's hanging on the claws, keeping it inside, but he's still going to get pummeled down by the Lone Druid. EG understanding that they need to take out Dazzle first, and uh, finally they're able to do it. A uh, couple of uh, coil plus a silence. Uh, more than enough, uh, Dazzle needs to keep the distance. Uh, they need that grave to get off into the fight. Agatim Scepter down on Toronto, Tokyo. Has that arcane rune that he picked up uh, and died after that. <laughs> now has uh, Invis rune. I feel like Team Spirit is the one who's controlling the majority of the runes in this game. It definitely feels that way. A Lotus Orb there on Fly. What's that primarily going to be? Removing the Silence on Fly and also precasting it uh, on Enigma. So Doom is going to think twice whether he wants to use it or not. I don't want to Doom yourself, but sometimes you might have to. Shiva's God coming up next for Collapse. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Incredibly farmed. 13,000 net worth from the position of three. Doom always going to be overtaking these heroes. Probably another reason why this Monkey King went the hand of Midas, so he's trying to keep up with his offlane player. Deso lined up next. And then we see the, the big differences. The spread of net worth for EG. Uh, I guess kind of more standard. See the curve there? All different from Team Spirit with Toronto Tokyo quite often taking the back seat to collapse and Yatsura. Ages just ran out. Smoke, Radiant using the. They know something uh, is up. After using the scan, Mira immediately pops that Zeus ult. They know something is happening because they are. Like, it's very easy to read moves like this because uh, they're showing way too many heroes, so that means that TG is not playing defensively. And nobody on the map, and nobody ganking. The smoke was coming. Munching away at the tier one, though. Lone Druid makes short work of objectives, as always. And they will set themselves up in dire triangle with some nice vision coming out from EG. Is this, is this where Team Spirit want to smoke and try and play into them, or are they still comfy to drag this game out a little bit longer? I think they're fine taking a fight right now, even though if they wait an extra minute or two, they will have an extra set of items that's Tesso and potentially Shiva's card on Doom. So they, those two are big ones, so I, I feel like they're gonna wait until those two, and uh, never mind, I just lied, Gary. That's okay. I want to make something happen. I guess you know that you know, EG, they're itching for a win, they can feel it. Decent position here to push down bottom tier 2 tower, but the ward's being removed. RTZ frontlining. The bear, the wraith pact, already been Good pushed Good positioning out. from Crit. They already placed another ward, and he's ready to potentially save people if they go in. EG taking the tier 2 tower. Warding from Spirit. Oh, they found an opening. Oh, man, jumped upon. Four stop Doom. A puck. The obliterated unit. Not available. Being doomed up there. By collapse. They put a Lotus Orb on him at the very end, but it's not going to save you. Vision. From Team Spirit, as you mentioned, they're doing a very good job every single time EG places a ward, they're already there. Uh, Mira have a, not Mira, but Poshka have a really good read how EG is playing around their vision, and most of those wards are getting rewarded. Yeah, the puck now is getting Kaya Sanj trying to get the Lincoln Sphere, needs so many defensive tools to deal with this doom. Radiant's Team middle Spirit needs to maintain their lanes though. Bottom, bottom lane needs to get shoved down. Thunder God's Wrath there, trying to give the vision, so Collapse, no, he's safe. There's no one backing up the Eidolons and the, the small creep push coming the way at that bottom tier three. RTZ, not too far away from Assault Kuras, it looks like, just a recipe off. Philly Stone helping out quite a lot, another Arcane Rune for Toronto. And skips away from the smoke that I think EG were under a dire ward when they used this, so Team Spirit well aware you can see their movements on the map. The trio of heroes mid, back to their tier two. The 
scribbles on the map indicating they know exactly where EG are. Scan will come back up again. Probably don't need to use it just yet. Hold on to that. A little surprised how under level Toronto Tokyo is, considering that he's 3 1 and 9. He's the same level as Mira. Yeah, he's not really been given the, the lanes to push out and farm. It's been the Doom and the Monkey King getting these side lanes to grab up all that experience. Spirit with a five man smoke. But EG have got the positioning here. Again, the Spirit Bear, the only one showing. Trying to front line and scout them out. Well, Abed could be in trouble. Again, Mimoshka. Under the vision, jumps away. Remnant catches the bear. They will move up to D Ward. The observer on the high ground. Dyer's middle tower. EG is very attack. deliberate with their retreat. They've got the high ground ward again. This vision game, so back and forth. Yeah, you've got a Zeus uh, on one team, you've got Fly on the other. Sentries being spammed absolutely everywhere across this map. Nightfall finally has his BKB done, so if Doom is used on someone else, that means that Enigma will have a very good opening in terms of using Black Hole on multiple people. It looks like a good opening because they try to fear Dazzle away and focus down the Monkey King, but the, not Monkey, uh, Void Spirit, and he gets the Yule Scepter off, uh, gets to dissimilate, and manages to survive there. Team Spirit, uh, he got so much gold. He's level 19 what? with the Aghanim Scepter. Uh, 3,000 damage, but the damage I'm looking at is Arteezy's damage. Did pick up that uh, double damage rune oh, yeah. on a bear. Caught him mid-air while he's trying trying to get on the tree. Gets the gets Oops. the fear off, and uh, they do focus him down. Even though he tried to man up, uh, it was not enough. But how does that end? That's a 7 for 5, right? Team Spirit lose 5 heroes. EG lose... Five with two by two diebacks of their two supports. Still a, a pretty massive swing of gold going the way of EG as it comes down from 12 to about seven. So that 5k net worth swing. And yeah, Lone Druid with a double damage rune and life stealing away with a spirit link. So incredibly potent when you've and got a Mira double damage. In clutch, one chain lightning gets the bear and gets <laughs> the hero as well. Uh, buys the dome for himself, going into refresher next. We talked about the zero, the Zeus' ability to scale from position four, but this is this is nuts. Yeah, it's bonkers stuff. He's nearly 10k net worth, and again this, this Aghanim shard working wonders with that percentage-based damage. Maybe the play there would be now that I'm thinking of it. Toronto Tokyo getting in using Yule Scepter on the bear to dispel ED. Maybe that would be the play, but uh, also he was definitely afraid of him getting focused down and not having a dispel mechanic. Yeah, this, this bear is really no joke now. Salt Curious Basher. So he's got additional lockdown to catch the monkey or the Doom during the BKBs. And Roshan. I mean, I'd, I'd forgotten he'd, he'd respawned and he was alive. A couple of fights we've had. Because everyone was everyone dead. Everyone died. <laughs> Usually we have a fight, someone wins it, they go into Rogue Pit and take it. But no, a back and forth. Both teams eyeing up the prize, but it's EG the smoke. Radiance Under a dire ward again. 
This ward has caught two or three smokes now. Vision gain from Spirit has been amazing this game. Inside Roche, but they, go, they better do something about it. Uh, yeah. Showing Yatoro on bottom. This means Roche dead. Probably, unless he connects. Okay, he does have that talent, so gonna be able to connect with the team. Yeah, leaping very quickly, tree top to tree top. Easy back themselves up to high ground. Arbor Air takes the haze and shorts away. Clearing up their own triangle while Team Spirit get the ward up on the high ground. They want to maneuver under their own vision, so they have that advantage in the team fight to pick their targets. And most importantly, this Nightfall Enigma in the sight of that collapsed doom. Wait, does, does he have the Perseverance and the recipe already on the courier? He does. No, he so was just way too far, and Artizi bringing in some extra raid bands. Oh yeah, a few little stat items for him. I saw the Enigma with just an ultimate orb, and I was like, "Yeah, hang on a second. He's got Eventually, quite a Eventually, he is going to get it. So, Doom will need to find a way to proc two of those. Thinking about getting a refresher, which is going to kick in in the next couple of minutes. Finally, EG smoke. With, this time, not under vision, but showing two heroes. And they will reveal with the ice shards where they are sitting. And the Thunder God's Wrath. Vision game again from Team Spirit, just too potent. Oh, they're pinging Roshan here. I'm gonna try and get some D wards. Yeah, get the sentry down. Make sure he doesn't have any forward vision. They hold their positioning. Oh, our bed under a ward. He jumps away from the ring. Trying to Tokyo, trying to D ward now, but he's coiled up and snaps. No more then. The punch from Chris. Trying to push down the Void Spirit, but he's been great. Then Apple stepped away. Roshan, I, we gotta give credit to RTZ. Some quick reactions with the Savage Roar to be able to get the Doom away from him when he jumped in and then getting the pass to being able to focus him down. I think they need a, like a bigger black. But the, the only thing Nightfall is afraid of is this Doom. Yeah. So he's uh, he's gonna be looking out for him unless he gets, uh, gets that Lincoln Sphere. Then it's gonna be a bit more easier for him. Doom is missing. They're pinging it out. They know that the, he does not have buyback. Yeah, they need more time in the game. scaling. But with Aegis and Aghanim Shard in the hands of Team Spirit, this Monkey King has been immense threat to the Wukong's command. So good at creating a zone that it's like impenetrable for EG. But yeah, you blink, you black hole. Okay, you've got a coil, but my Wukong's defeats you all. Doom did pick up the shard already, so there is shard available. The only one who does not have shard is Void Spirit, so I guess, I mean, Monkey doesn't have it, but he does not want it. That's not that amazing on him. Void Spirit with the semi is super nice to have. Collapse is gonna hold it for now, though. Oh, bad. Getting out of the Nimbus and the catch of the Monkey. Wants his own Lincoln Sphere. Once those Lincolns are done, EG become a completely different beast. Much more able to freely play the team fights as they see fit. Scardy now. They might, might just sell off his Echo Saber in a few minutes. Oh, there's still Midas to sell. I guess there's disassemble Echo into this Bloodthorn. Yeah, most likely. And also, we're getting very close to level 25 on Monkey King. Uh, holding that Aegis for three and a half minutes, so he's definitely gonna get it. Then the team fights become even more difficult. Uh, like Die. everything gets hit by Wukong's uh, slow down, applies this. So yeah, and I guess with this extra Ogre Axe, he can turn it into an Aghanim Scepter at some point. So he's got ways to use all the items he's got. It looks like he, I think he sold it. He sold the Ogre Axe. No, it's a, he's, it's on the courier near the secret shop. Oh, did he? He sold it, yeah. It's gone. So he had it all there, now it's 
Mage Slayer and the remaining components of that will become Bloodthorn. EG. Yep. Again, under their own vision. Sentry from the clears it out. And they'll try and catch the dazzle, but can't be done. Drifts away with his force down. Now it's EG under the boot of Team Spirit being pushed back and hemmed into their own base. They need to keep these observer wards Radiant's up so they can see where the doom is, where the doom down from. It's grip. It's blown up under the Nimbus. And I'm teasing, thinking about sending the bear forward, but yeah, Yatta and Toronto Tokyo. They're ready to jump in. So if ready. Bear gets close. There's this one ward again, scouting things out. Easy. Will it go for DP? Just in case someone decides to jump in. Now he doesn't have it. It's used it. And they're going to jump in after it. He does have Lincoln's life is placed on it. Pops the ulti as well. 50 second cooldown expended there as our team is incredibly afraid of Team Spirit's aggression. They were ready to back him up. That Lotus Orb and Lincoln's that you mentioned, and also Enigma having a black hole. DKV blink Lincoln's on the Enigma, yeah. Good old Blinkens. Where the fuck have you? Blinkens as well, 100 gold away from it. So this this timing, 38, 39 minutes in. Should put a bit of pep in EG's step. Penta Edge Sword found by EG. Spirit Bear will be holding that one. And Arteezy, most farm hero oh. at the moment. Big boy Philly, extra gold kicking in. He's been holding that for 20 minutes now. Yeah, he's had it the entire time, hasn't he? He's ahead of the Doom, which is always a surprise in itself. Oh, well, uh, Wukong is there. He's trying to strike. Lincoln's on the Hex as well. Up and dead for 80 seconds. Now fly. He's the next one on the meal ticket for Yatoro. Big play Thinking from the post about it. Using the force staff aggressively to pop that Lincoln and then getting the poison touch. And now the Yours is around him. Catching out the Dawnbreaker, two heroes dead for over a minute. Oh, oh, Arteezy's Arteezy. here. Arteezy. He's alone. He's walked into disaster. They're going to finish off the bear. Doom of the hero. Collapsed a bit of a different thinking this time around. He was thinking about getting a refresher as his next item, but decided to go for Agatum Scepter, which uh, does apply break. So there's no demolish, there's no entangling claws on Blood Blood uh, in the true form. Yeah. Even Spirit Link. That, that's a big one. The Spirit, yeah, the Spirit Link is huge. A passive lifesteal. Incredibly important. We've seen our team stay alive in fights solely because of that. Team Spirit come back into Triangle, get the D-Wards going, and yeah, launch themselves towards these Tier 2s. It's a little like Trump to Tokyo is trying to find Crit, but he's already TP'd home. Mira, position 4 twos, 40 minutes in, Aghanim's Shard, and a full refresher. Level 23. Cool. Beast. Puck by up the toe. He wants that 25, wants to be able to pierce through BKBs, hold them in place for potential Enigma, Black Hole. We haven't seen, like, good saves from Tusk this time around. They die so quickly. It's very difficult for you to jump in and just uh, save someone. Also, your Blink Dagger is getting cancelled by Zeus. Because Mira, every single time he senses something is up, he's not saving that ulti for anything. He wants to provide vision for his team. Yeah, that, that intel, so valuable to them. And it's the speed at which Team Spirit, without even communicating, they see a hero, or they see a group of heroes, and they immediately know. Well, how do you know they're not communicating? They're no, it's, it's as if they don't have to. It's <laughs> as if they don't have to communicate. They just know they've got like telepathic links between them. They see a group of heroes, like right, we're going to cast X Y spell on X Y hero perfectly, and they just disappear. They've been on point with spell casting, but I. Again, gonna say Mitoshka, he's been on point with Graves and how many wards he managed to kill. EG, and it also comes down to having Zeus on the team, that yes. helps out quite a lot, but EG's vision has been... Uh, okay. It was lacking, definitely. It's a difficult one to fly. He can't fly out as he tries to take it out, folks. The Nimbus, the leader, folks, 125 gold for him, though. 
Mikoshka can't keep the distance, having Aether Lens, Radiant's having Force Staff to be able to close out the gap, and we see what we can do. Proc that Lincoln's on puck, get Poison Touch, that few seconds silence, uh, silence slash hacks. Top tower has I restore my connection. Smoke again, and immediately. Something goes round. That gives the vision. Are EG trying to reposition themselves. Martizzi goes into ult form. But Team Spirit are beelining for top Radiant's lane. Top Creep top Wave has already top. met the tier 3 with a couple of catapults there. So EG are the ones that really have some difficult choice choices to make. Go for tier 2, yeah, but you're going to start losing your eyes around incredibly quickly. Your tier 3 tower, Glyph already forced. Is this going to be a race base? It looks like it might be. race, let's go. Always down for that. Now nah, Team Spirit is going to be back. Oh, Nimby! Who's it caught? It's caught on easy. Collapse, BKB's up, blink in a second, they're trying to move in towards the two man battle, and now the Wukong as well, Arteezy, he's dead! You have a small circle, and you also have a big circle. Like, two small circles and a Wukong's command. He used Refresher, provided vision. Mira on, on the Zeus, involved in 29 out of 34 kills, uh, pretty impressive. Oh, it's 80 seconds we have to run now. He's, he's not got buyback or anywhere near it. The Yule's remnant here from Toronto Tokyo is going to find maybe a bonus kill for Shiva's guard to slow down. Fly! Goldfrager came in to try and save the Tusk's life. Our bed jumping in and out. Touring with Team Spirit, but they will pick up the Dawn in the end. Forgive me. Buyback is available on Fly, but it's still looking at Team Spirit running at your base. They need to poke. They need to check whether Arteezy has buyback or not. It's very difficult to say at this point of the game, considering uh, how much farm he was getting. And it's time to knock on their tier 3 towers again. Yeah, looks like yeah, Zeus down bottom is going to try and shove things out. He's got that global presence from the Nimbus, but 40 seconds left on Thunder God's Wrath cooling down. Big Midnight Pulse. Gigantic AoE. Plus a Wraith Pack. Looks like Spirit's going to... Shut Chill and go inside the pit. 20 seconds, that's uh, more than enough to kill the Trojan if they start to be able It's a refresher as well, so uh, potentially another dude, another Wukong's command, uh, even like three elements from Zeus plus the uh, plus the beat, but then bye. It's, it's uh, Greek slash Latin, not sure which one, but uh, it is what it is. Dyer using a scan. Was it Nimbodies? <laughs> Not gonna be there online. Get there fast enough. Yatro this time. Roche is up. Here's the Monkey King mischiefing himself into Roshan 4. Evil geniuses. Maybe an opportunity though. They see collapse. Look at that quick jump. The black hole is on the dude. Team Spirit swiped down with sweet vengeance. Couple of buybacks needed to use in Team Spirit to uh, secure this fight. Uh, and 80 seconds without Lone Druid, they do have Aegis. Now it's time to see whether he has buyback or not. Uh, Enigma does not have uh, Black Hole available. Uh, getting very close to, to Refresher. If he sells Wind Lace, if he sells Magic Wand and uh, farms another wave, he might have it. He's hoping he can sell the Van to the Ninja Gear as well. Oh, yeah, so sell neutral items. <laughs> sell the neutral items to get even more money. Oh, Nightfall. Radiance middle so he's chasing. That was close. That was super close. Gets back to Fountain. Couple of hundred away. Top tower. 80 <laughs> away, sorry, from the refresher orb. There's the finished item. This could be crucial. This could be game changing if he refreshes. And uh, never mind, Trick. They focus him down. Damage from Yatharos. Pretty nuts at this point of the game. Yeah, it, it's bonkers stuff. They, they, they do have buyback on the Tusk, though. Something that Chris can utilize. Yeah, going down the top lane. 20 seconds with no Arteezy. 20 seconds where EG will just let buildings fall. Allow the structural damage to be done by Team Spirit. Radiance top 
Don't That's commit cool. to anything until Artur is alive. We've got Spell Prism, level 25 talent on the pot. The cat's up, and goes pot. Our bad face shift. Can we get away from this? Oh, just about. Very close, and the Zeus now Radiance has Octarine, level 25. Man, the, the, the Zeus players uh, from position four, they really know how to how to farm, how to keep the distance. He's almost as farmed as Puck at this point of the game. So you're going to start flaming them, these Zeus players. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Disgusting, using Heavenly Jump to get out of trouble. <laughs> there is going to jump across the map, get back towards the EG base. Still have two minutes, 20 on Aegis, Cheese on the Void Spirit, and Refresher Shard. But on Collapse's Doom, Only for a refresher all himself. I'm not sure what that tips for. But Nightfall. Oh, oh, it's a misclick. There we go. Oh, there but uh, it worked out in the end also He's double wrong. damage spawn bottom oh, the DD. Did they see it give it the give to bear oh come on eg fly will scout it out send the bear down here get all the double has damage five back on their side 60 seconds until this, 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 is this is game they're just gonna go and end the game they're gonna poke see what happens what did he poke that's not poking the building just ceased to exist! The They're more thinking! So quickly. Tier 4, here we go! They, they got the shot There's nothing to stop them! Oops, oops, yeah! Come on, EG, finish it off! Team Spirit! Inside the dominant position! 